In today's Straight Saturday video, we're gonna take a quick look at another model from their Boneyard series. This one is the, uh, the Grim Reaper model. That's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thank you for joining me. First of all, I'd like to thank the folks at Shrade for sending me one of their uh, Boneyard Edition knives. This is the Grim, Grim Reaper Edition, so I can show it to you. And I'll tell you right now, I'm going to try to do this video in one take because tomorrow, actually today, if you're watching this when it's released, is my 34th wedding anniversary. And I kind of procrastinated a little bit on getting ready, so I, I don't have a lot of time to do this video. I've been really busy, so blah, blah, blah. You don't want to hear all that stuff. So let me get right to it. So anyway, if you recall, uh, last year we did a sneak preview of the uh, first of the Boneyard Editions, and that was the uh, one with the skull. And I think I actually dubbed this one the uh, Sons of Anarchy knife because it's just kind of, that's what it made me kind of think of, it kind of a motorcycle, biker type theme thing. I don't know. But anyway, this has got some skulls and stuff on it. And you notice it was a tip up carry knife, which I like. Got that really great magic assist action, which blurs the line between an assisted opening and an automatic, in my opinion. Well, today we're going to take a look at another model in there, and that is the, uh, this is, is the Grim Reaper thing. And it's got kind of like a little Grim Reaper. Let me give you a little close up of that. So, got this really gnarly looking skull thing with fangs on it. And just kind of a sculpted aluminum handle with bones and all sorts of gnarly looking stuff on it there, right? And we'll talk about the specs this thing in a minute, but I do want to show you the differences between this one and the original one that I looked at first of all. So first of all, you can see the first one we looked at, it's got a slight recurve in the blade right there. This is no recurve here. You know, it's a 3.38 inch clip point blade of black OS 8 high carbon steel. Okay, they're calling it a clip point. Looks like a drop point to me, but there we go. So it's OS 8, it's not your normal CR type steel. Then the, the handle is a 4.37 inch, and this is the Grim Reaper, it's an aluminum handle. And overall open length of 7.7 inches. And the knife weighs five ounces. So, and by the way, for those of you still stuck in that old metric system, and you wouldn't believe the comments I get on that. That really upsets some people. I hope it's not you. I hope you at least have a little bit of a sense of humor. But anyway, it's, it's an 8.46 centimeter blade with a 11.10 centimeter handle, overall length of one of 19.56 centimeters and 141 grams. So that's all the uh, metric stuff for, for the, for the I don't know, the, like the 97% of countries who are still stuck in the metric system. So uh, the knife features a side safety. So red means dead. That means it's live to go. When, you, uh, when, when the, it's not showing red, it won't open. When you click the safety to the red, where you can see the red right there, then push the actuation, actuation lever. Push the, push the actuation lever and it opens like, I just can never ever ever get tired of doing that but and you can also use the uh, thumb studs to open it if you want to but why right uh, it's a uh, it's a liner lock design and also this this particular one again is tipped down carry features a lanyard hole you know I don't know anybody that's going to use a lanyard on this knife probably but you know it's there if you want it and the, the retail on this knife street price so to speak on amazon is 38 bucks so look there's no way even pretending this is a bushcraft knife okay it is a knife i got you but and it's going to do knife stuff pretty well i'm sure it's got a pretty good edge we're going to cut some cardboard maybe cut a little seat belt uh, probably not going to try fire starting stuff with it it's got a pretty rounded spine on it for striking a ferro rod if you need to do that probably might work with these little these little notches here but there's just really no sense in doing that. This, this is not what this is about. And I'm trying to keep this video short. So just kind of want to show you this. I think it's a cool knife. It, it does look pretty cool. And definitely, it's, <laughs> man, I could do that all day long. And my wife will attest to that. She, she's always to just, please, please, please stop doing that. So let me grab some cardboard and a couple of things. We'll do some quick cutting tests and we'll wrap this thing up. So first of all, here's a box. Let's get us some cardboard to play with. Not bad there. So... We we'll just do some quick carving of some cardboard because you know everybody needs to be able to carve some cardboard, right? So let me get where you can see the blade cut through here. It's a uh... okay. Hey, it cuts cardboard. 
which is probably what the most thing you're going to use this for on a day-to-day -day basis but it's good to know that it is a pretty solid beefy knife i mean this thing is really pretty tough um let's try some seat belt material because that could be a valid use for it maybe if you got stuck in a car or something so we can just uh yep cut seat belt uh, i'm sure it will cut some wood but just for you a little piece of wood we're not even going to take you down to the old stump top today because i just really want to uh keep this as a one take video and i don't want to adjust things and you don't want to see my camera flacking all around so yep Trying to hit the lens with one of these things. Maybe I'll do a little slow-mo for you anyway. <laughs> Chuck Norris can believe it's not butter. So, I think we're going to call this one done. Um, I know you want to see some fire just it's my anniversary okay just humor me this time okay so so anyway just did want to show you this knife real quick i like it so definitely um different design pretty pretty non-traditional and, and a kind of a step out for shrade oh man mosquitoes in that boneyard series but i gotta say man this thing is it's got a nice heft to it it's really got a very comfortable handle those kind of rounded aluminum handles are very comfortable feels really good and it is slick like oil so that is a quick look at the Strayed SCHA 14B Boneyard series knife this was the Grim Reaper I'm gonna take a look at one more coming up soon but once again I'd like to thank the folks at Strayed for sending me this so I can show it to you as always thank you for watching thanks for being patient with me for not starting a fire this time um, and, and thanks and thanks for all your support i put out a brand new video every friday a stray saturday video every saturday and, and very often a couple of random videos throughout the week you can check out a new one right here if you're not subscribed you can fix that by clicking right down here once again my name is brian i really appreciate your support remember survival is not an accident so be prepared i'll see you next time